Hey, this is Russell, KV4S, Kilo Victor 4 Sierra. I was going to show a quick demo of how to hook up remote hams software to um, Ham Radio Deluxe. That's a logging program plus some other things. Uh, the reason I'm recording this is some of the videos I found on, on YouTube were with some older versions and a lot of things had changed and uh, I was having some issues getting it going at first and it took me several several tries so hopefully this will help somebody out and not spend quite as much time as I did trying to get it to work so this is just the front screen that comes up when you open open up the program uh, let's see I'm going to show you my version I'm running the alpha I believe they call it the alpha version 09250 so it's the latest version at the time of this recording so um, some of the videos were showing that I needed some virtual serial ports and uh, I don't believe that was needed on uh, on this version I think uh, the RCF orb client is doing virtual serial ports within the software now I don't think it had always done that at least that's my guess so under virtual devices, I've turned it on for virtual HRD and virtual K3. K3 is an Elecraft radio and uh, that's what they've chosen for the virtual control for remote hams and ham radio deluxe third party integration. So I just picked a random port. There was a huge list on here. I went down almost to the bottom and selected 98 so I wouldn't have any issues with anything else I was running. So I've uh, once you select the port, uh, this one you can pick your own. This one is the default for HRD and then once you select your port you're then able to turn them on. Once it's on you're not actually connected or started up as a server in in, uh, in COM, COM port 98 it's not until you make a connection that it's uh, that it's going to work so I'm going to come up here to the very first one and I don't know if you heard that but the, it showed um, it was connecting to let me mute the audio it connected to port 98 so it's also important at least I noticed that um, you need to have this running and connected so that 98 shows up in HRD as a selected port. So now I'm going to launch Ham Radio Deluxe. And my other part is still running. So let's see. I don't know if we're connected at the moment. No, because the frequency is different. So I'm going to hit connect and I'm going to pick my L Lcraft K3. It's still on port COM port 98. So if this was from my earlier test, so when you do it, you're going to be you're going to create a new connection. Select Lcraft K3 and then COM port 98 is on the list. And like I said, that was not the case until I restarted Ham Radio Deluxe. If I started Ham Radio Deluxe, Deluxe first and then started the RFC Orb client and it created that port, it would never show in the list unless I exited out and came back in. Now it showed it on serial ports, but it, uh, it wouldn't let me use it until I closed it and reopened it. So let's just go ahead and connect to it and it's tuned me to 37625 which should be the same as the remote 37625 so I can tune it up and it will be reflected here as well so with any luck you'll, uh, you'll have similar success getting this to work and uh, definitely speeds up logging so you can go ahead and go into your log book and um, let's see what that looks like 
it'll speed speed things up for you for sure. So if I go to add a contact. I can just hit set the radio then I change the mode actually I believe it'll do that as well yes the little buttons autofill thing so if I start a QSO or if I'm listening and monitoring and I'm waiting to contact the station then um, I can go ahead and fill out their call sign and look them up and that kind of thing and have my frequency set and as soon as uh, they hear me calling them back, if they're CQing or whatever, I can start and stop the timer based off these two indicators. Now I've noticed if I've changed, if I change the lookup or anything like that, it'll reset these start and stop times, which I guess it should. But that throws sometimes if I'm not paying attention to it, I may leave it as the defaults instead of starting them again. But anyway, that's not really part of this demo. But um, Anyway, that's a good way to integrate if you're sitting at your desktop running ham, remote hams and ham, HRD. Uh, this ought to speed, uh, speed your logging up significantly. And uh, we'll talk to you all next time. KV4S.